Hello, what's up guys, Robot here, and today I'm going to be bringing you my 8,000 subscriber GFX pack, um, which is a little thank you, of course, for 8,000 subscribers. So, um, there's everything, but I'm just going to take you through it a bit. Basically, to start off, I made this image, which is quite simple. Basically, I just made it to say, kind of, thank you, and I have included the Cinema 4D file and the Photoshop file to see how it's made and everything like that. If you for some reason want to try it yourself. Um, then we've got some Cinema 4D materials, but I'll open Cinema 4D to show you all about them. Um, we've got optical flares, as you can see here. I'm going to go into this file, actually. Oh yeah, I'm a big Mac fanboy, that's kind of why I've got this wallpaper. Um, but anyway, as you can see, these optical flares are all kind of They've been circulating around, but there's 165 in here, and they're uh, they're bloody good. So this is pretty much all the optical flares you're ever going to need through like whatever you're designing or whatever. Um, if I haven't already said that, there's 165 in here, which is quite a lot, and it's just a collection I've built up. I'm not trying to say I've made these, but I've just built up this collection, and it's pretty good. And yeah, I hope you enjoy those. If we go back, you've got some PSD files. Now this is where my GFX pack gets good, right? Um, I've made all of these myself, and there's about 8, 11, 11 PSDs, which are all for you to use in Photoshop, and I'm just going to open them for you. Um, my computer's being a bit slow, so it might take a while, but we can uh, just have a quick look at them, innit? So, uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so this is the first one I made, it's like a tech one, and it's pretty simple really, because I didn't use any brushes, I just used kind of layer styles here to make it look kind of glowy and stuff like that. It's not very hard. This one, um, it's editable, it'll look better with 3D text if you want to put 3D text on it yourself. It's kind of that cliched one, and I don't really want to go into this too much, but a load of people say they don't like flames and flares anymore, when in fact that's all they're going to use on their background. This is one I made recently. Um, it's got some pretty decorative side borders here and I made all of those myself and as you'll be able to see the layer styles are in here as well. If you um, if you want to edit it, there's the layer style for metal kind of grates. So that's quite nice. Uh, no. That one's ages ago. It's kind of like a glowy one. You can take the side borders off if you want. I'm not really too fussed what you do with these. Um, that you might have seen quite a while ago. That's kind of like a hazard one. No, I don't really like that. Um, this one here you might have seen a while ago as well. And um, with that one. This is kind of like a space one. And it's just kind of nebula. Um, it's made using quite a few images. But if you basically lower the opacity on this, it will lower the file size. Because... These are basically what make the background quite a big size, so that one's relatively simple. Again, it's got these side borders over here, as you can see. If you're not, all of these are non-partner, by the way, just because I like most people are non-partners. I mean, so yeah, let's face that. And um, this one again has got it's kind of bluey, grey, and I think that's quite nice. So, yep, now all of those are done. Go back to no, don't want to save changes. Okay, so let's see what else I've got. We'll go into Cinema 4D. Um, basically, thanks to the 696 baby, I've got a few materials here. The grunge pack that he did is in here. And by the way, if you want to create new materials, just go to File, Load Material Preset, and then all of these here are materials. As you can see, there's going to be like thousands of them, hundreds of materials. If you just click on one, it'll load it into here like that and also I've got a load of Cinema 4D models so oh I don't know um, most of these are again they're just collections most of them I didn't make but if we just open this one because it's quite a nice one thanks to Trooper FX um, there's a spaceship there that's pretty amazing modeling and all credit goes to him if you want to check out his channel a link will be in the description um, I want to go back to it now, so desktop 8000. 
Um, what else have we got? We've got Cinema 4D renders. Now these are pretty much just self-explanatory. They're PNG files which you can put in to Photoshop or whatever you want to do with them really. Um, they're just abstract renders. And some of them are pretty nice, like, I'll, sh I'll get to my favourite one. Like, some of them are humans, well, not he's not human, but, like, some of them are kind of, like, realistic things, like a plane. And that's probably one of my favourite renders. It looks like a bit like Megatron doing a sidekick, I always think, but, you know, that's just me. Um, so we've got dancers, and these ones which I used in a speed up, which I had to take down, unfortunately. And a few other breakdancing people. So... That's that, and templates, YouTube partner and normal YouTube template, they just look, they're pretty normal, pretty self-explanatory really if you want to make your own backgrounds. And textures, so a lot of people wanted textures, and there's 287 here, so with any luck that should kind of like satisfy your texture needs. Um, yeah, there's a load of carbon ones and everything. And basically what I've decided, you might be a bit disappointed not to see any 3D alphabet in this, but I'm going to do a huge pack of 3D alphabet for like 10k. I've decided because I've done a 7k contest and an 8k giveaway, so there's not really much to do for 10k. But if I do like 100 fonts, well maybe not that many, but like a load of fonts in uh, 3D, then I decided that might be quite a good thing. And look at that, that is disgusting. Lucky it's not very big. Anyway, um... That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I hope you like the, the 8K pack, because obviously it's made for you. If you don't like it, um, well, I guess there's not really much I can do about that, is there? So, it's free to download in the description. Depending on how long it'll take, I'll try and get it on as many file-sharing websites as possible, because obviously you guys seem to hate Mega Upload, and some people seem to hate Zshare, and some people seem to hate file front so I'll just try and spread it around a bit so you can download it from whatever one you want but yeah apart from that guys I'll see you later have a nice day and that's it really bye